My name is Liz Cottrell. I work at the National Museum of Natural History at the Smithsonian Institution. We had a workshop at the Smithsonian May 11th to 13th to bring together a really diverse group of creative scientists, educators, technology specialists, geospatial data specialists, data scientists, in order to brainstorm about how the Deep Carbon Observatory might make the best use of the next five years in terms of visualizing the data that we've collected, the new measurements and observations, modeling the carbon cycle, the deep carbon cycle, including the mantle of the Earth uh, and the core, and then also communicating about deep carbon to public audiences. In all science, models serve a really important role. We can't speed up time, we can't make the Earth hotter, we can't um, uh, go down and sample deep fluids in, in some places. Um, but you could change those parameters in a model and see what the outcomes would be and, and play. You know, as much as anyone might play any kind of game, modelers are, I think, continually playing, playing with their models and seeing where, how they can explore. We will also have a call for proposals to get some limited money for what I'm calling commissions. These are going to be commissions to do work to carry the effort forward. It might be that someone's going to produce a proposal to submit to an agency to do basic research. It might be that someone's going to have a mini conference to get those geodynamicists together to discuss you know, how they, they can attack this problem as a community in thermodynamicists. It might be that someone wants to develop um, a game or storyboard a film or have a hackathon, which were many of the ideas that came out of the, the workshop. I think my uh, someone on the organizing committee, Mike Walter, said it best when he said <laughs> after the workshop, you know, Liz, this workshop had enormous potential for disaster and it succeeded. You know, half the workshop goers didn't know anything about the Deep Carbon Observatory. Some didn't know anything about deep carbon or earth science. And I think the surprising thing is, is, is that it, it did work. 